Okay, in this video, we're going to start taking the dash apart. In order to start with the dash part, we got to start with these side pillars here. To take them off, you got you got to take off the the little part that says airbag on it. And there's a seven millimeter screw that goes in that. Then we got to work on this back part right here. I think the majority of this video I'm gonna have to do with my cell phone. This part right here's got to come out first. This back part. So you got seven tabs across here. Across the back here. And we got to pop off this some one right here. Okay, we're going to see if we can't get one right here. Well, we'll come back to the, the top part back here later. These air vents, they just pop off here and just pull out the bottom. Pull them out. Take off as much of this stuff as we can. Start working on... We'll pull out the other vent on the other side. I'm going to make sure we get it. Put your left parts on your left side of the trunk and the right parts on the right side of the trunk. Make it easier when you go back together with it. We'll start taking the... Start pulling the benzel off the, the radio here. Okay, I got the trim tool right under the radio like that. Now we'll stick it in and twist it and see if we can't get it to pop out here. Try not to break nothing. There we go. Why don't you get your hand on it? that out of the way it's a pretty good size piece now I could probably go ahead and pull that radio out of there get it all out of the way Then we start popping, pull up right here. Pop all this out of here. I had to actually go back to some of my old videos. See how you pop some of this stuff loose. This in here was so tight. So tied up against here you couldn't even get your fingers up under it. So we got it out now. Go ahead and see if we can't get get this radio stuff out of here. Yeah, this is going to be a job, I tell you. Changing all this dash out. So I'll go get some sockets and wrenches and we'll start pulling this radio out. Okay, right here where your starter switch is, just give it a good pull. Now start pulling all this off. Now I'm going to see if we can't get this here to pop off there. Probably have to have the trim tool for that one. Stick the trim tool under here.
Okay, we about got it. There's still one about down in here. Still one right under here. There we got it. Move the steering wheel down. Gonna have to unplug some wires here. So I'll do that real quick. Okay, over on the other side, you got three connections. You got two wire connections and a and a little plastic hose. You got all them connectors over on the other side of them. On this piece right here goes around the. Goes around the steering wheel here. Goes on your gauges. Okay, we've got the four 10 millimeter screws out of the radio. It's ready to pop that out. Should pull straight out. Now we gotta get behind here and undo some wires here. Okay, you got four connectors, three black ones and a kind of a brown looking one. And you got your, that's probably XM right there, and your radio's up here. That connector there, held on by some tape so it won't come out. Okay, unplug all them and there's all your wires on this side of it. Yeah, just taking our time so don't get in too big a hurry so don't break nothing. So I guess now we'll work on the, there's a piece up under the steering wheel there. Pop that off, and then we got the two side panels we can pop off. So we'll just keep chipping away at it. Okay, when you got your vent out right here, you kind of push out on it, and you get your trim tool. Go in there, and you can start popping it loose. That's on your side covers here. Side cover removed. Okay, get you a trim tool. Start prying on this very corner back here. We got one and two up. There's seven of them across here. So now we got several more to go across to get this panel off. Okay, I think we got about half of them out. Okay. Oh, don't want to hit the speaker. We just did. Okay, now we're over here on the passenger side.
think we got it all loose now. There's all your tabs there. If you got a trim tool, just be real careful with your speakers. Got one in the middle and one on the sides here. There's the one in the middle. Over here on the sides. So you got seven tabs across here. So it took a little bit of work, but we got it out. Now we probably got to unplug it back here, right back there. That goes to that light sensor right there. Okay, this is up under the glove box here. It's got that panel loose. And this in here. Two screws in that. Now we're going to start working on the glove box. Pull some of these screws out. So we can't get that pulled out. Okay, we're back on this project again. It's the next day. I got the, got the glove box all out. Three screws on the top, two on the bottom. And I still got that black piece down underneath there. Let's see if I can't get that out. I may not be able to get it. This is the side where the car was in an accident. And even the carpet won't fit in there right. So, really can't do much with it. So, got the glove box out. Now over here, got the radio out. And we got... Got the top piece covering the gauges, got all that out. Got the piece below the, the steering wheel. The steering column, got all that out. That's, uh, you pop that out. Yeah, you pop this piece out right here. And you pull it down, and then there's two bolts up underneath there. Actually, I think there might be three. Two two towards the front and one towards the back you be able to pull that black piece out and the I'll show you real quick it's right there that goes up underneath the the driver's side you'll see your screw holes one there one there and then one I got a glare yeah, one back over here somewhere. Right there. Get all them screws out. And here's the other piece. That's the two pieces together. That's all the parts that's up under the steering column. You pop that front down and take all them screws out and you got all that out. Okay, now we're working on getting this climate control out of here and the ashtray out of there got all the bolts out of it so now these are loose let's probably have to move the shifter forward or backwards so I have to I put a temporary switch in it right there this is one I'm uh, changed out a couple years ago still works so I move this back move the shifter back I'll be able to move this out of here okay now we'll shut it back off and I'll unplug all that probably ought to disconnect the battery but I ain't gonna do it I haven't had any trouble so far. Okay, I gotta shift the park as soon as I unplug this stuff. I'll be right back. 
Okay, I unplugged three connectors off of that. Three connectors on the back of that. Got that out of there. Now this is the ashtray here. Get that out of here. And this is going to have a wire on it too. For your lighter. So I'll unplug that and I'll be back. Okay, we got them two pieces out of here. Got all the screws out of there. Okay, now we'll work on the dash right here. And those are seven millimeter, by the way. I think I told you. We'll get all this gauge cluster out of here next. Seven millimeter, I'm sure. So I'll be back. Okay, we got the screws out of that. Seven millimeter. So then we can pull this out. I don't know how many screws are running behind that. Or how many how many connectors are. Put my steering wheel all the way down. to give you enough enough wire to actually do something very good so I'll disconnect that and I'll be right back okay now we've got the gauge cluster out and we'll see what bolts and stuff we gotta I see there's one right down there we got to get out of there probably another one over here on the other side takes the dash off See now it's starting now it's starting to be a little bit loose. I'm sure we got many more. So I'll get them two off and I'll get that one off and I'll get that one off. Right in the center of the screen there. I'll be back. Here's a shot of the glove box here. You can see the three screw Three screws, one right there, one right there in the center there, and one over here. That's the three you take out. Then you got two on the back side here, one there and one there. You should be able to pull it out. It's still going to have a lot of wires to it. I better go put this in the trunk over here before I get it scratched up. Here's where I'm keeping my, keeping all my parts. Keep them organized. Everything on the left side goes over on this side. Everything on the right side goes over on this side. So we go back together with it, it'll go pretty good. Okay, just inside the glove box here, you'll see a couple of main supports here. Right there, that's a 10. That's another 10 up there. That's really holding the dash together. And probably got another one right over here. All these metal supports go back up to the dash. I think, I hope. Anyway, we're gonna take them off. Okay, back over here on the driver's side. We're getting these bolts off of here. Already got the other one out. Look up through these holes right here. And take out them bolts right there. So we'll get that one out and see what comes apart. Those two bolts take off this big old piece. So got that out of the way. That's good. Now give us more room up under here. Okay, I see a screw there we need to get. Another screw over here we need to get. Anything that's connected to the dash right here. That one and the one over here. So I'll get them out real quick and I'll be right back. 
Okay, we got them two out. Right there on that left and right side of the steering column. Now we'll come over here to this side. See that rusty metal piece? Right up under there. Right on the end of that piece right there, there's another bolt. Should be another seven millimeter. So I'll get that out real quick. Okay, I took that last seven millimeter out and it, it's really getting loose now. I just discovered something. This bottom piece right here is going to be a problem because I don't think we can get the dash out without dropping the steering column. I don't think that's going to fit over that big old steering wheel. Okay, I'm going to go back on the other side see if I can't find another piece like that that's still connected that really loosened everything up now so just trying to find the last fasteners to get this thing out of here so we'll go over on the other side okay here's radio location and look just right to the right there's another connector Another 10 millimeter bolt that goes right out here to the right out here to the dash. I knew there had to be something else to it's really holding it on this side. So I imagine I get that off there, it's really gonna loosen up. So I'll get that one off and we'll see what happens. Look what I found. Right in the center of the dash. Got one there, one over there. I'm sure that's what's holding me up. I don't know what size that is, maybe 15 millimeter, 13, I'm not sure. Anyway, I had something majorly hold me up in the middle. I even pulled the center speaker out. Couldn't find nothing. I said, well, I can look through the windshield and, and this is what I found. I'm sure that's going back to the dash. So we'll take them off and we'll see what happens. Fun, fun. Okay, when I did them big old 13s right there, really didn't do nothing. But whenever I got to the center right here, see right there, that center bolt right there. Now watch it move. Seeing if I can't work this thing out of here. So all the wires back. Now you're. Uh oh, I must have hit an accessory. Body control modules back there, and I need to unplug that. It's a big old connector. I'll show you here in a minute. Get back over on the passenger side. It's got, I believe, four to five connectors on it, but then it goes to a great big plug, and you gotta unplug that. I might not have to. I'm not sure. It shouldn't come out with the dash, I wouldn't think. So I'm gonna probably just leave it alone. But I'll show you where it's at when we get this dash out of here. So I'm gonna start moving this thing around, see if I can't get this thing worked out of here. Be right back. Okay, there's that big connector I was talking about. And uh When I pull on the dash, that kind of looks like it moves along with it. So it looks like I'm still going to have to 
take off that bolt right there in the center of the picture and we didn't really have to take that one there off it's just a single that probably connects onto the I bet that goes onto the glove box frame right there I bet that's what that is so we really don't have to take that off so I am going to take that bolt right there off and see if I can't loosen all that up like it's all going to come out together over here in the glove compartment is two straps here I've already got the already got the bolts taken out seven millimeter right there is one of the holes and over over there is the other one I've been taking a lot of bolts out that I really don't need to the ones I showed you earlier really don't need to take that one out but this is the frame that holds the body control module and I pull that off of there now nah, it's really loose so I think we got all the bolts out of it now I say that but we'll see again yeah I sure wish I had a video to go by so if you like this video just push the like button on it because I tell you a lot of blood sweat and tears put into this making this video I didn't see nothing on the STS about taking the dash apart there's one on for CTS but my lands they had that thing that car a mess time they got done with it trying to get to the oh the evap I don't know maybe it was the heater heater core I'm not sure what they was after but my lands they had that thing tore apart so you can see now this thing is about ready to come out so I'll see if I can't get it wiggled out here I'll be right back okay right there's the body control module but we do have to unplug it because it is attached to the dash see it is attached to the dash and I did unplug the the big connector because it runs through there to get unhooked that now I'll finish unplugging the body control module and I'm still not sure we're going to, have to pull the steering column out I guess we'll see here shortly well I got this thing pulled out quite a ways and I shoved it all back that steering column is going to have to come out. I was going to pull it out anyway. So I'll have uh, probably several connectors on that. I think uh, four to four to eight bolts. I'm not sure how many. I know there's two sets of flanges you got to take off. So I'll start with that next. Get that steering column out of the way. That's the reason why I want to move this car out of the way, out of the driveway, because I know I get this far, it ain't going nowhere for a while. You pull that body control module off there, pull them wires out, it ain't going nowhere. I don't, I'm not even sure if it'll start right now, but I'm not even going to try. I don't want to fire all that stuff up with half of it missing. So... Might not be a bad idea to go ahead and disconnect the battery after I've already got all most of this already disconnected. I think I'll do that. So I'll go disconnect the battery and then I'll start working on pulling that steering column out of there. I don't think it's going to be that hard. I get that out of the way. I think. It, the shifter is the only thing that's going to be possibly in the way, but get that steering column out of the way. I think you'll be able to flip it up, flip this top up, 
and I think it'll come right out. So I'll get to I'll go get to working on the steering column and I'll show you where I'm at. Okay on the steering column you got a great big huge connector you gotta take off. I can't show you right now though I will when I get it out of here. But you got four 13 millimeter. You're gonna need a deep socket. You're gonna need a deep socket to get that in there. Because you got the studs sticking up out of there. So I got it. I got it all disconnected. You can see right through here. And I'm hoping I'll be able to just pull this thing right out of here. See them studs right there? Right there. Right in the center of the picture. That's one of, the, one of them there and another one right there. Okay, I'll put this phone down and I'll see if I can pull this thing straight out. Okay, here's a trunk release. Gotta get that off there. Got two bolts on the outside ones. And you got one right down. Yeah, one right there. It goes along the side over here. That one right there. Okay, we're going to take the steering wheel off. That little hole right there. Right by your cruise control. Stick something in there. I use the Allen wrench. Stick that in there. And pop it loose. Now we gotta disconnect that. Get the wheel puller. Pull that all off there. Now I got some more wires to disconnect. Well, I decided to go ahead and go this route and just pull the steering wheel off instead of pulling the column out. Because this disconnecting the column is so difficult to get to. You can jack up the car and disconnect it. in the wheel well there under the hood or you can go up underneath here there's a bolt you can take out but I was looking on eBay looking at several different steering columns some of them are compatible with this is 2011 going into 2008 some of them's not compatible it says will not fit, will not work. So we're going to be on the safe side and we're just going to change steering wheels and all the colored plastics that goes along with it. I think that'll be fine. Okay, you get the airbag off, you need a couple little small screwdrivers. And your connectors look like this. Your connectors pull straight up. See how they are. You have to pull that little piece out and you gotta release those little those little push pins right there. Push them and pull them up. Anyway, that's how you get the that's how you get the airbag off. Okay, now we pulled out the, got some T30s, right in that hole, bottom hole, and up there you got three of them, got that pulled out, pull this horseshoe looking thing out, it has to do with the horn, beep beep.
Okay, I'm gonna have to get me some uh, gonna have to unhook some wires here. Okay, I already got this steering wheel pulled. You just give it a good yank and it'll come right out of there. I just pull back and forth like that. Cause there ain't really a whole lot holding it on there. Let me get them wires through there. Okay, now we got the whole steering wheel off. Didn't take no time. Okay, now let's see if we can't get that dash off of there. There's your clock spring right here. Just gotta be real careful on your blinkers and cruise control and stuff. You don't want to break them off. Okay, I'll see what I can get. Let's see if I can't pull this thing out. Okay, I got the bottom of that thing off on the steering column. That takes uh, T25s. Get them off. And hook your wire there. That's for your steering column up and down. I gotta pull all these pieces off anyway for the interior swap. So, gotta take and clean all these parts up real good before we put them back on. Okay, went ahead and took up the rest of the, that'd be the glove box frame. That goes over here on the passenger side. So we had another bolt right there. Another one on the back side here. And a couple more up towards the front. All this back in here is looking pretty good now. It's all pretty empty. Everything's all no wires connected, especially on the passenger side. And I got the little air vent taken out of there. That's that little piece right there that goes up under there where your ashtray is. Got that pulled out of there. That's got another seven millimeter bolt on it right there. I'm trying to uncover everything pretty thoroughly. So you kind of know what to expect when you get into this job. Yeah, it's been fun. Okay, we put the... Got the steering wheel off. What I'm going to have to do now... I'll go over on the other side. See that bar? right here those blinkers and turn signals and stuff's not going to pass under that so what I'm going to have to wind up doing is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get this dash if I got to do it one way or another I'm going to cut this frame right here in the middle and I can see how what I'll have to do, see the way that thing's made, there's no way. I'll either have to, I'd actually rather cut the bottom one. Keep the dash mainly intact for the most part. But you got screws over here and you got screws over here, so that ought to. What I'm going to have to wind up doing is cutting that and dropping a steering back down on the floor. It'll go all the way to the ground this time. If I get that cut, it'll come all the way down. 
and that'll get rid of the problem with the blinkers and the turn signals and the wipers and all that being away. That'll come down and then we'll be able to easily get this dash out. I mean it's although I'm still kind of worried about the the shifter. And this one is already broke. I noticed that last night when I was putting my videos on the computer. This one here is already broke. So I might just go ahead and break it. Over here on this side. Cut it, break it, whatever. Then that way I'll know for sure it'll clear that shifter. I think we're going to make it. I think we're going to get it. So I'm about ready for a break or one way or another I'll have to might have to unplug that thing again I'm not sure if them wires will drop down that far that's no problem we'll have to drop that steering column again just to get it out of the way it would have been easier to disconnect if I could have been able to just pull that thing right out of there but I'm sure it's got a bolt in it you look at them on eBay, you can see a bolt go through them. So, I think that's what I'll do. I'll just cut that piece right there and drop the steering column again. Get this dash out of here. I'll wait on that one. See if I can get it past the shifter. What I should have done, if you're doing this job, I would suggest before you pull the battery out, Make sure that shifter's all the way back. And then put on your parking brake. That's what I should have done. Should have had that thing all the way in third. All the way back to the back. Or all the way back. Yeah, it's all the way back to drive. All the way back to drive. And then put the parking brake on there. And I'd have been a whole lot more clear of this piece clearing the shifter. So keep that in mind if you're pulling the dash out. Okay, I gotta get something done here. Okay, I probably cut about an eight-inch piece out of it. Right up in there. So now we'll drop that steering column, and we should be good to go. So here we go. Okay, there's that big old connector. Had to un undo that one. Dropped her all the way down. See, you got your blinkers and windshield washers clear out here now. So that's definitely out of the way. So now we gotta get all of our wires shoved back. We'll take one more peek over here on the driver's side. Make sure we got no more nothing else connected onto it okay I don't see nothing else on there we just move, need to move this hood latch out of the way it's hanging me up now okay I think we can pick right up on this thing and get it out of here now I'll see if I can do that if the shifter's still going to be in the way, we'll have to make one more cut. Well, this thing's coming out right now. I've been working on this thing three days now. So I'm ready to get it done. Okay, that's what I did instead of cutting it. It was already broke there anyway. So I got in behind the shifter. I should be able to raise up on it now. And get this thing out of here. Wish I had a camera, man. I'd let, I'd let you see it happen. Okay, time to get this thing out of here. Okay, there's about halfway out. Now I gotta go over on the passenger side and pull out some more. Gotta make sure everything's clear here. Okay, I yet had another hang up. Had to pull that that last little, um, that's a little tweeter. Had to pull that tweeter out and had a couple more wires on there. 
The one that goes over to the light sensor had to drop that one down and that's also connected to the tweeter. Those two wires are right there. So now that's all loose. Now we get this thing out. Maybe, finally. Okay, I'm gonna hang that steering column again. If nothing else, just by a couple bolts. So it won't be have any tension on any wires or anything. Had pretty good stress on that wire going up to the it was one of the airbag wires goes up to the your, your uh, steering column airbag that wire you see right in the center of the picture you can see them little orange clips anytime you see orange usually means airbag so this is what it looks like all taken out now if he's getting back down here to your your air box, you'd have to have you'd have to have a whole bunch more to tear down. All this here had to come out. So I'm glad I'm not going that far. Here's my wire that goes up to my this is the GPS wire. This is the wire I had had to keep in mind if I'm switch if I'm gonna switch radios I need this I need my GPS antenna for that navigation so that goes right up here to the top there it is right there there's my GPS antenna that'll be real easy to take out the wire comes right on down it'll go to the back of their radio sweet I didn't want to have to buy one I looked at them on eBay, $150 for the OEM. That's crazy. So I was hoping I could find one in here. It'll just stay. Yeah, I want to swap interior, I want to swap radios, everything. Even if I got to get it programmed. I'm so glad to get this done. I'm about ready to take a weekend break. But I want to get this done. This video closed out, so I can start editing this. It's going to take a while because it's a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of short clips. So I had to do most, in fact, I had to do all that with my cell phone. And that's the best way to do it, you know, right in here. Can't get that big old camera in here. So enough rambling on. I'm going to get this, I'm going to get this string column back up there on the studs and I'm going to close out this video and thanks for watching I bet you thought you were going to see the, the tan one didn't you I already got the black one out okay in the next video we'll put it all back together okay we got the black dash out of this car this is the car we're working on we're putting a leather interior in it so i just got the black dash out of this car so in the next episode we'll start putting it all together fun fun and i also just added the uh, gps antenna i just installed that just a minute ago got it running down so if you want to switch radios that's what you got to do